Hello, welcome to you plant tube. In this video, we will be starting from seed one of my favorite vegetables, kurabi. Kurabi comes in green or purple, can be eaten raw or cooked. It tastes a bit like broccoli stems, but milder and slightly sweeter. While you are actually being shown how to plant kurabi seeds, transplanting and right up to harvest, I will try to answer some common questions. How to grow kurabi? Sow kurabi seeds in the garden three to four weeks before the last average frost date in spring. Kohlrabi requires 50 to 70 days to reach maturity and should be grown so that it comes to harvest before the temperatures average greater than 75 Fahrenheit 23.9 centigrade. In warmer winter regions, sow kohlrabi in late summer for winter harvest. How long does it take for kohlrabi to germinate? Kohlrabi seeds germinate when the soil is between 40 to 90 Fahrenheit which is equivalent to 4 to 32 centigrade. The optimum temperature is 80 Fahrenheit or 26 centigrade. The seeds take 3 to 10 days to germinate. They should be planted 1 fourth inch deep. Kohlrabi plants grow when the daytime air temperatures are as low as 40 Fahrenheit, 4 centigrade and can withstand light frost. How much sun does kohlrabi need? Kurabi needs at least 6 hours of full sunlight each day. More is better. Give it fertile, well-drained, moist soil with plenty of rich organic matter. A soil pH between 6.5 and 6.8 discourages club root disease. Can I grow kurabi in pots? Kurabi is an excellent choice for container gardening. Just be sure to select a large enough container at least 16 in diameter and 16 deep and fill that container with good potting soil mix that contains lots of nutrient rich compost. How big does kurabi get? Kurabi is best when the bulbs are about 2 to 3 inches in diameter. Harvest the foliage when it is young and tender. Is kurabi a perennial? Sources seem to differ as whether kurabi is a biannual or perennial. Most gardeners grow it as an annual. However you look at it or grow it, kurabi has a quick growing season and can mature under 60 days under the best conditions. The entire plant grows about 24 inches tall. At this point of the video, I'd just like to point out that not all seedlings will make it to the next stage of transplanting. Because of the high temperatures, I started the germination process indoors as the temperatures were more suited for germination. High temperatures have really slowed down the growing process. Keep watching to the end to see how successful they turn out, even under these difficult circumstances. At this stage, I decided to transplant the seedlings into larger pots. With the new soil, this will give it an opportunity to uptake more nutrients and hopefully kickstart the growing process again. Because of my limited grain space, I don't really need more than a dozen seedlings for this video. And with that in mind, I will finally transplant these seedlings to a raised bed. Take this into consideration. If you want maximum growth as quickly as possible, then you're going to have to follow the instructions on the seed package for maximum growing performance. So what I have observed is that it's not really impossible to grow in warmer temperatures, it's just that it's not very productive. On the other hand, if you grow at the specific temperatures that should be on the label of the back of the seed package, you should manage to grow this vegetable in roughly 60 to 70 days, as I have learned from previous experiences. Nevertheless, we will continue to grow this kurabi and see how well it turns out.
At this stage, best practice would be to amend the raised bed with some good organic compost and soil conditioner before you plant your kohlrabi. With the available space that I have in this raised bed, I should be able to fit in nine plants. I also have a purple variety which is growing, which is in an earlier stage. As the roots have started to make their way out of the drainage hole, is a good indication to show that these are ready to be transplanted into a raised bed. Feel free to ask me any questions related to the video in the comment section below. I hope you have found this video of interest and consider subscribing if you have not already done so.
Also, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching.